Well, good evening and welcome to this edition of Sell Your Own Product on Amazon for Income and Lifestyle with the emphasis on lifestyle, like we always uh, a preacher, teacher, whatever you want to call it, because we believe that you should be able to have an Amazon business, a successful Amazon business that's paying you a good income and all that, and yet be able to enjoy the lifestyle to enjoy it. You know, too many times we talk about it, or I don't talk about, but I mean, you go on the forums, some of the Amazon forums and all these people are talking about, man, they spent eight hours, 10 hours out there sourcing, and then they come back and they bag it all on that. Well, that's not what the, I call fun, folks. There, there's people making a good living like that, and I'm not knocking it. I tell you that right now. But I believe at the I'm, I'm 72, 73 years old. I want to be able to enjoy life. I want to be able to enjoy my family, my wife, and my grandkids and all that. I don't want to be out there sourcing eight, 10 hours a day, and I don't want to have to come back and then bag it and all that and ship it off to Amazon, lift all those heavy boxes. That's not me, folks. We've designed this firm, uh, as you know, for, for the lifestyle, for you can also have the income, but also have the lifestyle. And so when we send we send to Amazon, you're sending to Amazon from the supplier. You're not sending having the supplier send it to you and you check everything out and label it and all that and bag it and all that. No, that's not what it's all about. So, but what we're going to talk about tonight, folks, is summertime. You know, summertime and the private label advantage. There's always a private label advantage, and it's not that much different in the summertime, but it is. And I, I hope uh, everything's going well. I don't know if you can see behind me, there's some, in just a few minutes, the sun's going down, and this is coming down, and it's kind of black on this side of my face and all that, but hopefully that'll all go away in a little bit. As you know, we're in a, a temporary headquarters right here till uh, uh, we get to move in. We've been looking at some place, put an offer in a place again the other day and uh, we're a few thousand dollars apart and I just don't know if I want to spend it for it and uh, uh, my wife she doesn't I kind of do I don't know we're gonna go out and look tomorrow so uh, what can I tell you just uh, I ask if you're a praying person to pray that we my wife and I and and her mother also lives with us who's 93 that uh, we find the perfect place for the three of us and we can and cohabitate and have a good place and I'll have a nice studio where I can put all my equipment in so we won't have this trouble we got right now uh, it's also we're off of the I'm off the dining room but the living room is right there and my wife says I talk too loud so uh, uh, I got it down and I've got the door shut and I've also I've got an air conditioner that's right underneath my feet and I hope it's not making too much too much noise if it is I appreciate it. if you tell me uh, put a thing in the comment but uh, if this is your first time this is how this works I'm gonna pretty soon I in just a few minutes gosh darn it I'm really getting tongue-tied tonight in just a few little seconds we're going to go over and i'm going to do a powerpoint presentation like i always do that'll last somewhere from 20 to 30 minutes and after that we're going to go over and then i'll be glad to answer any questions you've got whether it's about that powerpoint or anything to do with amazon and private label or wholesaling and all that we will answer those questions and so just be worth this i'll I'll, I'll get to you because what happens when I do the PowerPoint, I can't see the questions and answers. So I, there's no way I can uh, tell that you're asking so a question, but you can go ahead and put them in. And as soon as the PowerPoint sent, then I will have it on my screen on the right and I'll be glad to answer that. But uh, right now I got the Showcase app, which which is, is shameless promotion for me and the course and all that. The course is uh, uh, sell your own product on Amazon for lifestyle and income. And always the emphasis on the lifestyle because that's what we're all about. It's not that I don't believe in working I do but I believe in working smart working intelligent so you don't have to uh, you know so the business doesn't own you I really believe that you should own your own business you should you should control your own business not let the business control you and that's what I see so many people doing on the forum they talk about how many boxes they pack today how much they send off to Amazon how much time they went out sourcing and, and all that that folks like I say, if you want to do it, that's fine. I don't care. I mean, it's not that I don't care. It's it's fine, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But that's not what I'm about. That's not what this program is about. And that's so if you, if you think that's a neat step, then I suggest you go someplace else because I'll probably be knocking it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what we're talking about now is summertime Amazon private label advantage. And we're going to go over here. Yeah, I'm going to hit the screen share right here. We're hit the PowerPoint, and we're going to come here, and you'll see it. There you are, summertime, private label advantage. So what's it all about? It's it's that private label advantage we keep talking about. I talk about it inside. 
this week and I'll talk about next week and I'll talk about it the week after and I'll talk about the week after that because that's what we're all about. It's the advantage that you control the business. The business doesn't control you. And I know that that sounds hard to believe, but believe me, when you're out there, like I say, you're sourcing and you're uh, and when you're doing wholesale and you're having that wholesale stuff delivered to you and then you've got to take the time and you've got to bag it, you have to label it and you have to send it into Amazon. Do you know how much that's adding on to your cost? Just alone, it, it, it's probably adding at least a buck, if not more than that. It probably with the new uh, uh, freight that they've come out with this year. I mean, the freight charges and everything like that is probably going to be more than that. You're adding that. And that's profit in your pocket that you're taking out of your pocket and giving into given into who Amazon or whoever you're giving the freight company or whoever so believe me that's not the way to do it the way to do it is you source the find the product you want and you uh, uh, then you go to Alibaba or uh, wholesale brand or uh, any of the other places we tell you and you source that product you buy it at the best product you can and you get the uh, supplier the manufacturer to label it you get this manufacturer to put the UPC on that on that label. You get the manufacturer to box it, print it, and label it, and send it to Amazon. You don't want to be doing that stuff. So uh, uh, the summertime Amazon private label advantage is what we're talking about. Private label advantage. What is the private label advantage? Okay, the private label advantage is the ability to conduct your private label business from anywhere you have an internet connection and access to your bank account. That's all it takes. If you go to our site over there, you'll see a, people, a, 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 a young couple in a Jeep and uh, he's uh, depositing his check that in the uh, uh, his bank account. Now, that's I couldn't find one that exactly shows what it was because actually what happens, Amazon deposits that check into your, uh, your account every two weeks like clockwork. Whether you want it or not, they're going to put it in there. So, uh, that's the neat part. That's the private label advantage. Retail arbitrage and wholesale and everything else. But the thing of it is, you didn't do that much work. You you did smart work and you set it up so that you're going to win. If, and uh, that, oh man, Ooh, I could I could get into this and I you know I could tell I could preach all night on this uh, the private label advantage because it makes so much sense and it makes so much difference and then. Uh, shipping and labeling and packaging and all that and i did it for a long time because if you if you've read my story you'll know that i did it just to see because i knew i wanted to teach the private label but if i was going to teach the private label i wanted to know exactly what i was talking about when it comes to retail arbitrage when it comes to wholesale and everything else so i've done all those and i I've, I've earned my degree in that and everything like that and i can tell you none of that compares to private label wholesale if you do wholesale right you can get close to it but you still don't have the advantages you do in private label so uh, and that's for different things so but anyway private label ban it what's private label it's the ability to conduct your private label business from anywhere you have an internet connection and access to your bank account you can do it on the beach you know I don't care what beach you go to as long as you can get an internet connection and pretty much with the cell phone towers and everything the way they they've got the internet anymore you you know it's pretty much a no-brainer you can pretty much go anywhere and get the internet and uh, so with that being said, we're going to go on to advantage. Is it summertime only? No. I put that uh, summertime advantage because it is summertime advantage. I'm not lying. It's all, anytime, always. And it's anywhere, always. And that's it. But I put on summertime so to get you to, uh, I guess I'll use it as a teaser if you want to call it or whatever, to get you to maybe come and watch this tonight because I think it's worth re repeating every couple months uh, exactly what this advantage is. So uh, that's where we're going. So, uh, uh, Anytime, the advantage is anytime, and it's always. It's anywhere, and it's always. So that's what it's all about, folks. So, so see what your little eye can spy. So what we're going to talk about tonight is if you're doing the private label advantage and all that, and and you want to you want to make good use of your time. And this is what I've got. Everything that I've got on this list right here is stuff that you can do sitting on the beach. You can do it sitting poolside. I don't care where you where you are. You can do it with. Uh, uh, well, I don't care. Any place that you can do this as long as you you know that you can concentrate in that. So, uh, but here's what you need to do for the in the summertime because you don't want to go slack. You want to keep up with the with the uh, 
your competition. You want to you want to keep your eye on the ball. So here's what I suggest you do: you, you keep a list of twenty to thirty possibilities at all times. You know, in the in the course now we give you what we call a product picker's worksheet, and we tell you how to go to Amazon, find those products that you think you'd like to sell, and then to go to Alibaba or uh, wholesale brands or. Uh, uh, any of the other places and uh, research them out, find the best possible price and make an arrangement with that. Get all the, send them all the, uh, uh, the UPC codes and everything else and anything else you need, the pictures or anything you need for a label, have them do it. And, and that's it. So, but you want to keep a, a list of 20 or 30 possibilities of all times, because like I said, right now it's slow. It's just probably the slowest time of the year. Well, maybe July might be just a hair slower than June. I hate to tell you if you're looking for uh, uh, big things to happen in July, folks, uh, it, it all depends. Now you could be selling some uh, pr products that uh, are, are, Good for July. There's that swimming pool products and stuff, and different products like that sell good in July. But uh, as a whole, most of the products are not going to do as good now as they do in, in the other part of the year. But uh, I'm just telling you that, and and that's not uh, that's why we say summertime slow. So, but this is the time you want to use this to your good advantage. You want to check out new niches. Uh, what's wrong with that? Just because you sell in one niche doesn't mean you can't be prosperous and can't do better, or maybe just as well in another niche. You know, if you got to expand, if, if, if you've got your niche filled, filled up, then go out and check out another niche. But here's what you want to find out is how much volume does the niche do? And real simple to do that, if, especially if you got Jungle Scout, you can go up there, find the niche in Amazon, click on Jungle Scout, and it'll tell you item by item exactly what they're doing, exactly what they're doing, so you know how much niche that that niche does every month. And that is critical because you want to make sure that if you're going to go in there and you're going to come out with a competition that's better and worth more than your competition, you want to know exactly how much volume and all that, especially when you're going to order and all that. So you want to do that. So it's just common sense, but you want to check that niche out. You want to make sure there's enough volume in it. Uh, I had uh, 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 I did a one-on-one -on -one this morning with one of the, one of the students, and, uh, and, man, she is doing great. I'm going to tell you that right now. This girl is going to be a, uh, she's going to be a power seller for a long. But uh, one of the things we, we talked about, one of the items we looked at was really great, and we thought, oh, man, this is really great. And then we looked at it, we looked at Jungle Scout, and it's not even doing uh, one a month, which is not very good. And so, naturally, we, we discontinued that from her. From her list, but or she did, you know. But uh, uh, so you have to be careful about that. You, like I say, how much volume does the niche do, and then how much volume does the item do? That's what and that's what we're talking about in there. And with Jungle Scout is kind of a piece. Long time, great, uh, great sports and everything like that. But there is a lot of uh, pool halls, billiard suppliers, and everything else that long before the internet were selling a lot of billiard equipment, or selling a lot of bowling balls, or selling a lot of that. And so the internet came along, and Amazon came came along, and they've got all this stuff. And so these old boys. Uh, 
what they did is they know they've got a good business, a great business. They're selling a lot. So what they did, they hired a 14-year-old boy or something to make a website for them. And uh, most of those uh, uh, niches, the, the products are you have to sign a contract with the uh, a distributor of that, that you can only sell it for so much. Say if it costs you $6.00. You, you can't sell less than $12 twice. Usually, and that's what most of them are, it's usually twice the price. So it gives you a 50%, which is not very good. And so what to do, these old boys put them up in, uh, uh, in these niches, and uh, they've got them all listed. And you'll see these niches. When you go through, everybody's got the same product. It's all the same uh, seven or eight old boys clubs members, however you want to put it. And they're in that thing. And let me tell you, they're hard to beat because – what are you going to do? They keep that price low because the whoever said the 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 man, not the manufacturer, the distributor has said that man, you need to sell it. If it costs you six bucks, you sell it for twelve bucks. And boy, I'm telling you, uh, it's going to hurt you because with Amazon, with the shipping and everything like that, you can't do it and make a lot of money. And so, what's going to happen is you're going to go on these niches, and and even with your private labor, you're going to go on there, but you're going to be so much higher that it. Uh, uh, how do I say this? It's going to be so much higher that it's going to be hard. You're going to get some business, especially if you put on a sharp looking listing and everything else. You're going to beat these old boys clubs, but you're not going to beat them light because there's still a lot of people that's going to look for that low price. And uh, uh, you're going to have to go against them. And like I say, if, if you're selling it for 18 and they're selling it for 12, uh, you know, I, I'm going to tell you it, it's going to be hard to beat. But there's ways you can do it. We teach you that in the course, so uh, uh, so just bear with us. But uh, that's one of the things you want to look for because if you get stuck in something like that and uh, and you don't know how to do it, man, you are gonna not going to make a lot of money. Let's put it that way. And so is the niche year-round. Uh, is this important? Yeah, sometimes. It all depends on you. If you sometimes, some I know some people, and myself included, that I have three or four products that are just, really what I call active during the summertime. I sell some swimming pool stuff, which is mainly all summertime and uh, really don't do too much in the wintertime with it. But that takes the place of some of the stuff that I sell in the wintertime that doesn't do good in the summertime. So th that's the reason I do it. There's nothing wrong with that, but you got to be cognizant and you have to figure that into your, your uh, the amount of money you got to send so you know that you've got enough money to, to keep your uh, volume up to keep your inventory up so uh, you don't lose out so uh, uh, just bear that in mind is a niche you run it's just like I say it doesn't it's not a make or breaker but it is something you have to be cognizant of are there big players in the niche oh man and, and I thought about this when I put that down but uh, there are there's some I hate to tell you but there is some big players in Amazon Amazon is is one of the biggest I guess it is the biggest retailer there is but there are some big players in this niche I you know a couple companies that just have men after men or women i just I, i'm not trying to be gender specific here that have uh people in niche after niche after niche and their only job is to search that niche and find products to sell in that niche and send them in for this company that's all they do and there's those are big players so how do you find those when you find a product in there that you want to uh, that you think that uh, with the product pickers worksheet once again that you think that you might want to sell there's right under the title now there's a, a line right there that say that might say uh, uh sherry's wholesale i don't know so what you want to do is you want to click on sherry's wholesale if you're interested in that product and see what sherry's wholesale brings up if it brings you a list list of uh, uh 50 to 100 products there's a possible good possibility that that is a, a a big player in the niche and so you know it depends on how how vigorous they get, how much they want to protect their territory, you might have a problem on your hand. Now, not necessarily, but a lot of times you are. And so they'll sell their product below cost just to get rid of you sometimes because that's how they control that niche. And then as soon as you're gone, they'll be back up there, the same thing, and they'll be making making this, the money they did before. And they can afford because they have the different products to uh, – uh, take you out if, if you want to call it like that but you understand what i'm saying so be cognizant of these things are the big players beatable and that's what i put the next set now that and i'm not saying that you can't beat the big players you can but if it's going to cost you a year's salary is it really worth it i mean a year's profit is it really worth it 
I don't know. That's something you got to answer because you might have a really hot product that you know that's just going to take it once you get past these guys. And if it is, go for it and, and go for it. But just be cognizant. Be aware of it. Be aware of what you're going to have to do to beat these players because uh, sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's a piece of cake. And then the last thing I got down there, could you love this niche? I don't know. I, I, I've talked to you before, and I've done a couple of hangouts on this very subject. Uh, why do I say that? Because you're going to have to write, uh, you or if you got somebody that works for you, you know, you're going to have to write promos for this for that product. You're going to have to write uh, descriptions. You're going to have to write uh, uh, bullet points and everything else. And if it's a, a product that you don't love, I just question whether you can do it good. That's all I'm going to say. I know there's people out there that would argue with me, and, and, and I'm not saying they're wrong, but I think that it's a lot easier to promote a product you like, a product you care for, than one you could care less about and really don't like. I think it's really hard to promote it and do a great job or a good job of promoting that product if you don't like it. Now, that's enough said for that because that's the subject for another uh, uh, a Google Hangout. Uh, I'll have to write that down. Uh, you know, so, but anyway, let's go on here. So here's my suggestion. And we talked a little bit about this last Thursday night. I, I remember I told you to go over to uh, 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 magazines.com and uh, look at the headlines and see what's trendy and all that. So I'm really talking about this because if you're going to stay on the cutting edge, if you're going to stay up there, now I'm not saying you have to because there's a lot of sellers I know that don't get trendy. They, they stay right in stagio products that sell and sell and sell and sell. And so there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's kind of one way you've got to go. And I'm not saying this is, this is the only way to do it. But if you're going to, get, if you're going to stay on a cutting edge, then you're going to have to get trendy. So what is trendy? It's very fashionable or up-to-date, in style, or influence. In other words, it, it, it's the latest thing. It, it comes out with a, uh, like the, the Google, not the Google, but the, uh, uh, the, 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 the watch, you know, the, uh, oh, man, you know me, I get tongue-tied. I'm sorry. But uh, what is it? Uh, anyway, you know what? They're, so they came out with their watch, which was uh, the Apple Watch. That's what I wanted to say. Now there's how many copies of the Apple Watch and everything like that. But that's a style. And that was, they talked about that long before they ever came out. So I'll be willing to bet those people with the imitations and all that, they were ready and they were ready to go when the, when the, the, the Google and the, the Apple came out. They were ready. So, but they're trendy. And, and watch it. I told you about last week. Go into magazine.com. Another way. We're going to talk about trendy every now and then. So another, another way to find out what's trending is put trendy in the search bar. In your Google search bar, put trendy and then put a space and then go A. And you're going to see what comes up. Trendy A. And uh, you're going to see. And you might go A, B. It depends on how. Some of these things are really loaded with keywords and, and, and ideas. So you might have to go A, B. Then go A, C, A, D. You follow what I'm saying and go on. And then you go down and go and then put trendy and then go B. And go through that till you you garnered all that stuff. And look at that stuff because that tells you exactly what is selling. You can do that in uh, uh Google, which I strongly suggest, and you can also do that in Amazon. Amazon gets a little bit more restrictive, and you don't get near the search results you get with Google, but you can do it by putting it in the Amazon. But I, my suggestion is to go to, to Google and, and put Trendy in there. And, and like I've got also down there, you could also use Top 10. Top 10 Paleo Recipes, Top 10 Bowling Balls, Top 10 Running Shoes, Top 10... Uh, hairnets, top 10 uh, uh, detergents, whatever it is, I guarantee you there's some some place out there there is going to be a list of those top 10. You know, you can put top 20, but top 10s are more thing, and just and just go through those lists, and that's going to find the stuff. Now, I'm not saying you're going to find winners and all that, because you have to do your research and have to do your due diligence and all that, but that's a place to find, to find new ideas, find new new ideas that are coming along, especially well, like right now, I would be willing to bet <laughs> right now, if you go to trending, you went to magazine.com, everybody was talking about uh, uh, Caitlin or Bruce Jenner, you know, now 
I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I would almost be willing to bet by Christmas time somebody is going to come out with a uh, uh, a Caitlin doll, sort of like or something like that, uh, with men's clothes or vice versa. And, and I don't mean that to be uh, 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 hurtful or anything else. I know it's kind of a, a, a tough subject on here, but uh, uh, and I I don't mean to be disrespectful or anything else. But I think somebody's going to do it. I'd be willing to bet. By Christmas time, there's something on the market uh, of that order and everything because that's trending right now, and people are talking about it. And uh, uh, you know, what can I tell you? Life's life. Life goes on. Uh, you know, don't have to agree with everything, but what I'm trying to say is, get trendy. Get trendy. Study those trends because if if you're in this business to make money. And you want to be a success. You want to do the things successful people do. And that's one of the things they do is to keep abreast of exactly what's going on. Man, how many of the big companies, they spend hours and, and millions and millions of dollars just to keep up with the trends, to develop new trends and everything. And so I'm asking, I'm telling you right here that here's how you can go and you can find that trends and it's not going to cost you anything except maybe an afternoon at the beach when you're sitting there just soaking up the sun and everything like that. Why don't you run trendy through your browser on your, on your tablet? And just see what you come up with. See what ideas you've got. You guys think outside the box. I, I keep telling you that, and that, that's all I'm saying here. I'm not saying you got to do this, you got to do that. I'm telling you, giving you ideas to think outside the box. So, because what you want to do is stay ahead of the game. You can vi visit Google Trends. You know they're changing Google Trends, and so I didn't give you an expose on that or get really get down to it because they're changing a lot, and uh, they changed made some changes two days ago. So I thought, well, I'll just tread lightly and I'll say big, this is Google Trends, and if they ever get it situated, I, I will probably explain it because right now I'm not quite sure I know what they're doing with trends, but uh, it's a neat place, and you can get some neat ideas. And the next thing is study your competition. Who do you? How do you know where your competition is? Remember what I just told you? Look at your competition. Look at the listing in Amazon. And right underneath the listing will be a, a, a usually a company name or a name or something like that. Click on that. That's your competition. And what it'll do is it bring you up to another screen that shows you all your competition's other products. And that's a good place to get started because if he's selling, uh, 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 what can I tell you? If he's selling hair nets, man, see what else he's selling to go along with the hairnets or something else because he might know something you don't not saying he does but i'm just saying it's a good thing it, it takes about two minutes when like once again you're sitting at the beach check on your competition check him out see what else he's selling because he might he might know something you don't and so anticipate your competition how do you anticipate your competition well you know if all your competition comes out and if you're selling uh x whatever it is, uh, hairnets. You're selling hairnets and all your competition is coming out and they all of a sudden all come out with hairspray. Man, you know something's going on. Uh, think about that. You think about maybe you should come out with a hairspray or a styling gel or something like that to get a little bit ahead of them. But uh, uh, anticipate your competition. You know, And then what I said right here at the very beginning, remember I said have 20 or 30 products ready to go. And the reason you want, because you never can tell when something's going to happen. You could uh, go through a strike like I did or a uh, problem over in China that put me two, three months out of my best-selling product. If you've got another product ready to go, you can replace it just like that. But if you have to go through the whole thing and, and, and do your do the listing, go to Jungle Scout, go through, uh, and then go to Alibaba or uh, wholesale brands or, or something like that and then find the product and all that you're gonna it's gonna take you a month or so and, you, and you're not gonna be ready have those products ready to go because they never can tell when you lose it or you might get a windfall maybe you, for some reason something happened or something and you got another five thousand dollars well put it into those products and get it get it going get it to Amazon so and that brings us up to the next thing and almost the last thing I think it is which is manage your funding now you know and you can tell by your stock and everything exactly when you're going to need the money. So be cognizant of it. Be remember that. And if you've got to uh, start the month out and you've got an extra ten thousand in your in your account or whatever you've got, uh, and that's not far. If you get up there and you get a few of these products moving, you're going to have you're going to find yourself at the uh, beginning of the month or the end of the month at with an extra ten thousand in there. Now I'm not saying it's it's ten thousand. You don't need to repock in the 
product, but sometimes uh, it is, and sometimes you're going to have to put it in new products or uh, put it back to you, to uh, your capital account, whatever you want. But manage it, be cognizant of it. Just don't let it sit ride and say, "Oh, you know, this is just uh, it's just riding here doing this and that." Keep track of your money. Manage your funding. Uh, what can I tell you? It's how you stay ahead of the game. So, uh, uh, with that said, I think that's it. And I know we're, we're, I've got one more slide and I forgot about this. And I keep mentioning this. It says, get ready for Q4. Well, Q4 is actually not that far away, especially if you've got a product that's going to have to travel over the high seas and everything like that. Q4 is, we should be there about, uh, you should have your stuff in the, for Q4 by November. You know, and so this is the middle of June, July, August, September. So that's four months. So by the time you get it ready, get it and get it shipped, you know, we're not talking about a lot of extra time here. But just remember that Q4 is not really from October 1st to January 1st. What, what I'm talking about Q4, I'm talking about November 15th to January 15th. That's when you're going to sell. That's when you're going to have the most sales, and you're going to do at least three times your normal sales. If you're selling a hundred a month of your product now, you're going to sell at least three hundred. A month for that for that product so uh, uh just bear that in mind it could be more if it's a seasonal thing it could be more that's something uh like i say run through camel 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 if you can and uh, and find out what it did last year in that don't get caught with your pants down you know what i'm saying be prepared no and keep that keep that inventory in so you're doing good so uh, uh what can i say i think that is that's the end of the slideshow so i'm gonna go over here and uh um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, wait a minute. View. Reading view. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to go right, right here if I can grab my bar. I don't know why it's not on top of there. And there I am. So there we are. Uh, we're out of that. And here I am. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, question and answer app up there. And it's going to come on. And there is the question and answer. It's up on my right. Uh, hope everybody can see me all right. I see we've got a fairly good crowd out there tonight. And uh, and I just thank you. I hope that uh, w was something that, uh, you know, sometimes I worry because I really think sometimes I harp on the on the same things over and over and over again. But th the reason I do it is because they're important. And I, and I get emails. I, I get two or three a week to say, well, what if I do this? And, and you can do that. You can do things. You can do whatever you want. I'm not trying to be your boss, but I'm trying to guide you and tell you these things that are going to make you money, that are going to give you the lifestyle you want, and are going to put uh, uh, extra profit in your, in your thing. Because once you get this set up, once you get this the lifestyle system set up, man, you're set for life. You don't have to go back and do it. You don't have to recheck it, just unless something happens to the manufacturer or something like that. But they're going to keep working for you. And the more you sell, the better price you're going to give. The more the more you sell, the more more money you're going to make. So it's just a uh, uh, never-ending, what do you call it? thing that you get yourself on and you find like I, like I say there's not much work to it once you get your products going you get it set up in Amazon so that they notify you when it's time to reorder what do you do you can sit at the beach and reorder you can uh, do it from wherever you want you can sit in an easy chair with your laptop or what do you want and place place the order have it sent to Amazon Amazon sells the product for you they advertise well you have to do some of the advertising but I mean they actually with the search bar and all that and we teach you that in the course how to do that so you get ranked up there and uh, and, and so it's it's easy and then they take care of everything they take care of selling they take care of uh, shipping they take care of returns they take care of everything and they even send you a deposit straight to your bank account every two weeks now i know some people if you're older you can get it oftener than that but uh, i think the way they're right now and the way i am you, you get it every two weeks which is fine with me i like it i don't know about you but i like seeing that checks come every two weeks it's just uh it's just i don't know confirms my <laughs> 
resolution that I'm doing the right thing. What can I say? So, like I say, we've got the question and answer app up here. I would be glad to answer any questions you've got, uh, uh, whether it's about uh, what we talked about tonight or anything to do with the private label or Amazon or anything like that. I invite you to put your questions in there. I'd be glad to go over it. I hope everybody can see all right and hear all right. Uh, what can I say? I'm here to answer questions for you. I'm not going to stick around and, uh, uh, you know, uh, sing to you. I did sing last week. I think it was or it was week before last. I did sing, and uh, I, nobody asked me to sing again. So I just presume I wasn't too good. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? You see, I, I've got my uh, my spit guard up here. So if I do sing. <laughs> What can I tell you guys? I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm I'm losing it here tonight. One more time. The uh, question and answer app is up there. All you have to do is type a question in there. I would be glad to answer any questions. Uh, that's what I'm here for. It's summertime, and uh, uh, I hope that uh, I've got a little fan right down below me. It's right down below my feet here because my wife said that I was bothering her, and she's watching TV in there, and uh, and so I, I shut the door and kind of turned that on. So and it's not hot. It's not. I, I'm not. I'm not hot. I'm. I'm comfortable. And but I just hope that's not making too much noise because it is kind of right above the speaker. Uh, so what can I tell you? So I do have a question here. So let's get it. Uh, okay. Uh, this is from Michael and Beatty. I guess it is. I am Michael Ian Beatty. Okay, I just bought Jungle Scott, and I am trying to research my first product, and I'm completely lost. Okay, Michael, uh, what are you? Uh, what, can you give me just a little more? T tell me what what part are you lost at? Are, are you are you using it with a Chrome? You know, Jungle Scott only works with a Chrome extension. I hope you know that. And then once you do that, you go to the product in the product in Amazon. The product page you want you click on the jungle scout uh, button and it will tell you everything about that product uh, let me see if you can um, tell you what uh, if you could tell me if you can bear with me hold a minute let me see what I've got over here I don't know if I've got an extra uh, let me see if I can I can pull up Amazon in the thing here no hold on no I showcase I'm sorry I, I did the wrong thing. I want to go right here to the uh, screen sharing and see. Uh, no, can you? I'm going to sneak out just a minute here, guys, and I will be back in just a second. But I want to go and I want to change something, and then I'll back and I'll show you, and I'll take you over to Amazon and I'll show you how to uh, uh, use that. So hold on just a minute. All right, I'm here. Amazon. Amazon right here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to come back. I hope you can hear me. All right. I'm back. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to screen share this here because I've got Amazon set up right here. I'm going to share that. Now I'm going to go over to Amazon. I'm going to show you how Jungle Scout works. So we're going to go in here and uh, so. Uh, Let's find, uh, I don't know, Michael, what you were looking at, but let's find a, uh, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go over to uh, uh, Keebler Cookies. C -O -O -K -I -B -S. Okay, Keebler Cookies in all departments. Let's go up there. Now, this is, this is the listing, if you can't, and with Jungle Scout works in both ways. They turk it, they they work in the branded pages. What this is, where this has got all the Keebler cookies listed, and they'd also work if I kick on here. But let's kick on. Uh, let's in Jungle Scout. I've got it's in, it's in my Chrome browser. It's right up in the very right hand. There's a little JS. That's Jungle Scout. Now I'm going to click on it. And sometimes when you're out there, I don't know if you can see this through the thing, but this is bringing up every product that's on this page so it's going to go all this down so right here so now some of these i'm i'm like i told you i sold cookies and everything like that so that uh coconut 
grasshoppers right here. These are the grasshoppers. All right. So the results, the price they're selling on on uh, Amazon right now is two two fifty. It's in groceries and gourmet foods. Its rank is fourteen hundred and fifteen, and its estimated sales for one month are eight hundred and twenty. The revenue is two thousand and fifty dollars for that, and the number of reviews are forty four. The rating is four four five, and uh, uh, Amazon uh, is the seller. But uh, and you can see here, it's not always Amazon. It could be a lot of other ones. But this tells you. And the next watch, this is Keebler Fudge Stripe Cookies. That's this one right here, the number one one. The Fudge Side Grasshopper Cookies is this number two right here. And this goes on right down here like this. Your Coconut Dreams, which are one of my favorite, but they're not a really good uh, uh, a seller. If you look here, the Coconut Dreams. They're only selling like 56 a month, $390. So, and it's only got five reviews. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? But here's all your ranks right here in this column right here. This tells you your estimated sales, you know, like this one here, this one here is, is rated 6,000. It's a, uh, it's an assortment. It's selling 76, but 800, 820 right here, estimated sales, 820. Now that's a month for grasshoppers. So grasshoppers are doing really good. So, uh, let's go on. I'm going to uh, go out of this and let's go down to this one here. Let's click on this one here. This is a grasshopper. And now you notice Sam, the Jungle Scout went away. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on Jungle Scout again on this one here. This is the individual one and it just brings up that one. Well, no, it, it, now it's bringing up. Uh, Okay, these here, but here's the same thing, 820. Your revenue is $2,000 a month. Number of reviews is 44. So, I mean, that, that that's a good product. So that's what you want to watch for. And I hope that's uh, uh, I hope that's what you're looking for, Michael. Uh, let me go back over here, and we're going to go. Uh, and we're going to stop. All right, and here I am, back here in my handsome self. Uh, okay, hold on here. Let's let me get this. Michael's got another thing. Michael's saying, "Well, I am looking at the newbie categories, but I don't see the opportunities." Uh, although I know that. What are you talking about, newbie categories? Okay, cookies is a gated category. You want to try? Uh, uh, let's go back over. Do I have to go this way again? Hold on a minute. Hope I didn't click out again. Sometimes I do by accident. No, at Keebler Fudge. Uh, let's share. Let's see. Let's go over to. Uh, uh, probably not going to. I have to do it like this. I'm going to go out of here. Going to come back here. All right. Now bear with me. I'm going to disappear for just a second here. And I'm going to change this over here. And I'm going back. And uh, let's say if you want to go to. Uh, Keebler cookies. Let's go to uh, uh, kitchen. Kitchen decor. Let's go kitchen decor in all departments. Now let's go kitchen gadgets. I like kitchen gadgets. Let's try that. All right. So here's another one. Uh, premium. This is kitchen gadgets. Amazon. Wait a minute. I got to come back and show you. Or I'm. I'm sorry. I'm getting. All right, now I'm going to go back here. We're going to screen share again, and we're going to find – all right, now we're on, we're on kitchen, gab, kitchen gadgets. So let's go up here, and that's a newbie category. I presume that's what you're talking about. Uh, I'm going to hit Jungle Scout. And so we're – this is your first one, your, and then this vegetables – uh, spiralizer is right is nank num number 120 in kitchen which is a kitchen and, and dining is a powerful uh, category it's ranked number 20 so they they're they are selling uh, this item right here they're selling 2284 of those a month now look at the number of reviews though it's got 246 reviews so I'm going to tell you something right now if you try to come out with something like this and with 246, that's going to be hard to uh, uh, to jump over there and get 247 for yourself. Uh, I'm going to tell you that right up front. You can do it. 
but it depends on how much money you've got to to uh, send into it because you're going to have to give away or not give away, but uh, uh, sell a lot of products for to get some really good reviews right up the front. You know, and that's how you get that's how you get a lot of the reviews. There's other ways, but that's the fastest way. Let's see what else we got here. We got look at this one here. This is a zucchini. It's number fifteen. Let's go with which one here. It is Kitchen Axis Spiralizer, right here. This one here. It, it's the price is not very good, but look at it. It's number fifteen. It's number fifteen in kitchen, and it's selling twenty four hundred a month. I'll tell you folks, that is a lot of product. It's got five hundred twenty reviews. One of the reasons. But let's see if see if they're not okay. Let's look at right here. This one here, leading star. Let me see where where it is. Where it is? Uh, how far did I go down here? Darn it! I did lost it. Uh, leading star number fifteen. Leading star. Leading star. Right here. This one here. Leading star. Practical. Oh, okay. It's only two hundred two dollars and forty seven cents. I should have looked at that. I'm sorry. That's not a very good to show you because you're not going to make any money in that. By the time you pay your Amazon fees and everything else, you're going to be uh, eight oh eight. I'm finding something. Uh, here's this kebab set. Let's go down right here. This Brinkman. Hey, now this one's a good one. Let me tell you about here. It's got uh, okay. You want to find something this good? Look at this one here. This is Brinkman's 9021 shish kebab set. It sells for $18.99. That is an excellent price, guys. I'm going to tell you, anything you can sell, you want to be over 10 bucks as far as I'm concerned. If you want to make any money, you've got to be over 10 bucks. Anything between 10 bucks and 30 bucks or 35 is kind of the sweet spot. But this one here, I'm looking at it, it's number nine. Number nine in patio, lawn, and garden, which is a great category, too. It, and it sells. It's selling twenty four hundred eighty three units a, a, a month, which brings in forty seven dollars. I mean forty seven thousand one hundred and fifty two dollars and seventeen cents. And it's got two hundred and forty six reviews. Uh, let me tell you that. Uh, I checked it out and look at this here. Now this is what surprising. It's selling that much and it's got it's got a four star review. So that's telling me that people are finding fault with this product and there's something wrong with it so what you want to do is go over there and find out what's wrong with this product and then when you have it made for yourself you want to make sure that whatever they're complaining about over there you uh, uh, build your product that doesn't have that same problem and that's how you jump this because if you do that you'll jump that 246 reviews in, in just a short time but you're going to have to have, remember what I tell you all the time, I don't care what your product you're looking at, you make that product better. And it's, it's simple. So uh, uh, let me get back here. And uh, uh, so that got off on Jungle Scott, and I hope I answered that for uh, uh, Michael, I believe it was. And uh, I'm over here. So right here, we're going to go here, and we're going to go here, and we're going to come on here. And there I am in my natural beauty. Uh, what can I tell you? I hope that's helping you. So... Um, Michael is saying these categories. Oh, sports and our dear home and kitchen, patio, lawn, garden, pit supply. There, I just took you over to uh, Michael. I hope that answered your question because uh, here's what he's saying sports and outdoor, home and kitchen, patio, lawn, and garden, pet supplies. There, we just went to two of them, and I, I found you two products right there that I think are very. Uh, 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 I think they've got some good qualities. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have to go to uh, uh, global sources. You're going to have to go to uh, uh, Alibaba or someplace like that and find out what you can buy them for. And uh, uh, like I was telling the, the lady today, don't let them scare. When they say they, we looked at one product that had a minimum order quantity of 10,000. Well, take that with a grain of salt, and I'd be willing to bet you any amount of money I can get them down to at least 1,000 if night not 500 minimum quantity. If you talk to them nice and show them respect and tell them that you're really interested, you want to come out with a branded product under your own label and all that, I, I think they'll go along with it. If they don't, don't worry about it. Just go on to the next one because I guarantee you when you go over to uh, Alibaba, Growth Source or something like that, you're going to find probably maybe 10 to 15 suppliers that would supply you with that product. So uh, uh, I hope that helps, Michael. Uh, uh, what can I do? Uh, 
I hope that helps. So any more questions, I put it up there if you want me to elaborate on that. But uh, uh, did you see how we, Jungle Scout, now you don't have to use Jungle Scout. Don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm a, a walking billboard for Jungle Scout. Well, I'll be honest with you, I am because it saves so much time. But what I just showed you on that, if I didn't have Jungle Scout, it would have taken me probably a half an hour to an hour to figure out that same information without Jungle Scout. That's how much that Jungle Scout helped. And they keep getting better and better. When they first came out, the first one, I wasn't too impressed because some of those figures were really questionable. But I'm telling you, they've come out with two more editions since then, and each time they get closer and closer. And I think they're right on as far as their, their monthly counts and monthly quotes and, uh, and their volume and everything like that. And they just keep improving the uh, of the product. So uh, once again, if you want more information on it, you, you go to my website, privatelabelselling.com, and the, up on the bar up there, it says tools. Click on tools. Go down to the article about tools. Go down to the bottom, and it says Jungle Scout. Click on that, and it'll give you my review of Jungle Scout, and there's a, 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 a link in there so you can get Jungle Scout in that. But uh, what can I say? I just, uh, like I say, I'm not here to do this program for Jungle Scout, but it just happens. It just so happens what we're talking about. Michael, I hope that helps you out. If you can uh, uh, let me know there or something, I'd appreciate it. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? We've got a uh, few viewers on here tonight, it, it, some good viewers, and I want to thank you for, for all coming out. It's uh, summertime, and I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, guys started my kids and my grand – well, not my kids anymore. My kids are all grown, but uh, my grandkids. I'll tell you, my – just keeps my wife and I busy just running around watching all the games and uh, uh, everything that the kids got going on. So, uh, uh, you know, and my, my one grandson is uh, uh, he's finally got out of school and he's in uh, sailing camp. He's man, he's learning. He, he took part in some tournaments on sailing and that this year and uh, he's doing great. I'm telling you, he gets in that little thing and steers that thing around. And uh, I'm telling you, proud of him. I got to put that plug in for my grandson, Darian. He is doing great. So, uh, and Colton, oh gosh, my little other little grandson, he's four years old, and he's a baseball player, plays t-ball, but they fast pitch fast to him at t-ball, and uh, oh well, you don't want to hear about my grandkids, but I love to tell you about it, and and uh, I'm just proud of them. So, what can I tell you? Uh, uh, so, Michael, we're done with that. I hope that answers your question. Uh, don't be afraid to answer questions. Just like I said, uh, Michael, we had. We weren't really talking about Jungle Scout, but I went over there and I hope I hope I showed him what it could do. And and, and we actually picked out two, so uh, uh, two products that I think are very good candidates over there. They have a little bit more reviews than what I think of, but uh, th than I think because I like to keep those reviews under a hundred. And I'm sure if if we'd have spent a little bit more time over there, we could have found something with uh, uh, with just a good a category and under a hundred reviews. Because the, the the faster you can jump the reviews, the faster you can. Uh, get in the uh, uh, not only get the game you're going to get in the game before that before you can jump ahead and you can take over that category and that's what it's all about you want to take over that category remember pick the product on amazon that's selling good and make it better that's all i can say and we showed you how it showed you everything and else and, and if you really wanted to get down to the nitty-gritty i invite you to join the course we'll take you through it and we'll show you how to do it but uh, you're welcome to watch these broadcast it's uh, almost time to, to sign off here now and uh, michael says thank you i thank you michael i thank you for participating in the uh, uh the hangout it really makes the hangout and uh, it, it's neat because i get to answer these questions and be fine i'm just if i wasn't doing this i'd just be sitting here and my wife would probably tell me i'd be snoring or something like that so <laughs> what can i tell you uh anyway I just want to thank you for coming out. I know it's summertime. I know the living's easy. I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but still I know there's a lot of people out there want to know how to do it, uh, want to know how to uh, uh, get in and get selling on Amazon, start making some money, because that's what it's all about. If you Once you get into Amazon, start doing this stuff we teach you. You get three or four products in there where you start getting a, a nice monthly income. Man, you can forget. You can be. It can be summertime all year round, folks. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, you know, it just takes some commitment. It takes commitment to do it when uh, everybody else is not doing it. And I applaud you for being with us tonight. Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, what can I tell you? You're you're doing great. I applaud. Like I say, I applaud you. And uh, with that being said, uh, uh, I guess I think I'm going to sign off here. And 
like I say, Michael said thank you, and I thank you for that, and and all that. So if you're looking for the broadcast, you can click that, click the link you clicked on, and it'll bring you to the a replay of the broadcast in just a few minutes, and it'll be on the YouTube channel within a uh, probably half an hour or so. And what can I tell you? So I thank you, I salute you, I. Thank you for coming out tonight on a hot, it's really hot I'm down here in South Florida. And I know a lot of places north are, are hotter than we are. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, have a good week. I appreciate you and we shall see you next week. If not, give me a, uh, give me a, a shout, email me if you need something. Uh, be glad to help you out. But anyway, before that, I'll see you next week.